It's not that weird. Yeah. <clears throat> Come a little bit closer. You're my kind of man. So big and so strong. Anyways, it's Cinco de Mayo. I'm sorry, Dustin. Um, you're not all Mexican. You didn't make the cut. Representing. <laughs> Represent. Hecha <laughs> in Mexico. Hola so a todos. It's a, uh, it's a Cinco de Mayo mm -hmm. shindig. I haven't even celebrated. Yeah, so everyone, uh, happy belated, uh, may the fourth be with you. Because if nerds need a reason to celebrate, why not? And then that's Star Wars Day. Yeah. Yeah, for, I know that. for virgins and fat guys. <laughs> but so, uh, anyways, uh, we're celebrating, and I hope you're celebrating, or you're just doing whatever. Maybe it's your day off. Maybe, uh, you're cutting loose, uh, with, uh, tequila. This is a tasty one. Uh, El Mejor. Which is what? The best. No, it's 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 Mexican. It's Mexican for the steamboat. The, oh, okay. Is that that's not true? Uh, mayor. Yeah. 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 Uh -huh. And then this is a <laughs> Centalina llama, which is a uh, which is a uh, squid ink poison. I didn't know I was gonna be quizzed. Does that not the whole time? Is that not really good Spanish? It's very good Spanish. Yes. Okay. I should have grabbed shot glasses. Luckily, we're right here though. Oh, okay. Very handy. These are cordial glasses, so I'm gonna fill these half full, so we don't get ourselves in trouble. I have Grand Marnier glasses, but uh, <laughs> no, is that the, like a century? What is that? Is that what it is? Uh, Centinela. Yes. Yes. Yeah, it's a century. I, I speak some Spanish. Cien. Lady. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Centinela. You're not the only one that speaks Spanish. Mm -hmm. And is this the uh, major? The major. Yeah. Yeah, like military. See. Yeah, you say you call but, somebody. But when you first said it, I thought you said mejor, which is the best. That's why I translated that. I, that's that's why I said it like that because okay. I'm an idiot, you know. But I'm a little smart. Once I looked yeah. at it, I realized. So anyways, Lilo Bros was right. Cheers. Oh, thank you. Hey, everyone out there, cheers to you. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Feliz Cinco de Mayo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like mayonnaise. Well, I like that McCormick mayonnaise with um. No, no, no. This no. this citra. The one with uh with lime in it. See. Yeah, people. Get, get, there's other. Very Mexican mayonnaise. Yeah, go to the other aisle in the grocery store. It's delicious. And hey, if you're drinking that, maybe a little tequila. I just finished mine. About to crack one. Uh, no, I'm still working on it. I know. I, I figured you would be. That's probably your beer. <laughs> but so uh, I'm still working on that. Bohemia. Dust and I uh, bought some time ago. I, we don't drink that fast. I don't, if I don't drink it, if I'm alone. Anyways, hey, maybe at your work. Maybe you got kids, maybe something's going on, maybe you can't drink, maybe you're just enjoying a muy delicioso energy drink mm -hmm. with a, a Dia de los Muertos skull, a sugar skull. Best design. Right? Yeah, maybe you're having a glass of wine, a little... Machete. Machete. <laughs> All right. So maybe, maybe you're doing that business. Or you know what? You know, you're drinking, you're cutting loose, you're having a good time. Maybe you can't have that much of a good time and you're having some... Tapo Chico, <laughs> mineral water, or maybe you're having a, a Mexican. Thanks for the translation. Yeah, yeah, a, a, a Mexican glass, uh, glass bottle Coke, because those are the freaking best. But anyways, uh, I'm determined since we're celebrating Cinco de Mayo and mm -hmm. just happens to be the drawn of my contest. Like I told you, I was like, I'm gonna make this fun, you know? Because um, prizes. I know a lot of people just want to get out of the way, and it's very. Uh, thank you for entering. Here's the winner, which is cool. A lot of people, they entered, they wanted to participate, and they want to know what the winner is. You know, kudos to you. But, you know, let's celebrate. Let's have a little fun. Uh, when it gets to the actual drawn point, I'm going to make it rapid fire. If you skip and just go to that and you don't want to have a good time, then whatever. Go die in your hole mentally and don't have fun. But, uh, anyways, it was movies and music. So, you know, a little Jay and the Americans, which is probably my favorite song about Mexican prostitutes. Yeah. 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 Granted, it's the only song I know about Mexican prostitutes, but if you're celebrating Cinco de Mayo, you got to have some, some Herb Albert and the Tijuana Brass. Oh, that glare is just going to be there the whole video. But uh, yeah, she's she. You've never seen this before, have you? No. Yeah, that's not really. that's that looks like a kinky, yeah. fun, good time. As long as it's at someone else's house, you don't want to do that in your bed. No. And then um, I don't know. If, yeah. Well, uh, Johnny Cash at San Quentin. Is that <laughs> San Quentin? Uh, San Quentin. Okay, anyways, uh, I'm going to racially misappropriate 
Because uh, I don't care about hurting people's feelings because you've, you've, hey, thanks for spending some time at my house. He's just showing he has yeah. Latino friends. Yeah, so you've, 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 you've seen, um, I'm not going to be that guy who's like, I have, I have black friends. I have, you know, I whatever. say that. Yeah, yeah, but people, you know, say that, people that don't actually have people that go over to their house. So if you're offended, <laughs> I don't care, you know, we're having a good time. Uh, you know, my boy Cosmic Vinyl, he's got Scully. We got a sombrero wearing Mexican death whistle. It's supposed it, to sound like a scream of death, right? It's the sound, yeah, it's the sound of my yeah, people. Yeah, when you go into war. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just the sound of dra- drama. It's, no, it's just... Dramatica, chicas, muy imagine, dramatica. Can you imagine mm. that multiplied by a thousand? I, I can't, well, and especially if you ever watch it, there's a, I'll, I'll probably send a video link, like if you guys didn't know, uh, I usually pin a comment, and then uh, that pinned comment... Uh, has stuff pertains to the video and uh, anyways yeah do that if you want to but mm-hmm. I'll probably do a Mexican death whistle whistle video because they're they're gnarly that. they're carved out of wooden stone traditionally and they're maniacal they're supposed to sound like a death scream anyways uh, so uh, let's get to it may no smell yeah she didn't like my tr- you got it. You she got didn't it. like my translation in an earlier video she she scathed me in the comment section no no, no. Mm. it's just it's a different meaning to it. Yeah, yeah. Mal, you tried slated it uh, literally, mm-hmm. like more le- uh, less less bad. Less bad, yeah. It's less bad. Okay. But it's really more like at least like. And like at least it's not this bad. Yeah. 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 Kinda, yeah. At least you have me to really tell you what it's supposed to say. You do like to tell me what to do, mm-hmm. but uh, so uh, while we're at it, uh, yeah, movies and <laughs> such, you know, soundtracks. So show some of that James Bond, Goldfinger. And in case you didn't know, I didn't really realize it when I was talking about it, but uh, this video starts, uh, not video, this, uh, that's so, that's the how shape we're, of it. that's how we're pre-programmed. Mm-hmm. This book uh, starts off with James Bond in a uh, bourbon bender in a Miami airport, reminiscing about having to kill a man in Mexico, and then that guy defecating himself, and they related to him being a floppy piece of empty paper bag that was once full and is now empty. And uh, the books are a lot darker and less campy. Than the um, the uh, the movies, but they, uh, they kill a Mexican within mm-hmm. the first two uh, pages, yeah. and you apparently love it. But death? No, I mean, wow, you gotta. No, I'm. Uh, you know, I don't mind you throwing me under the bus. I give everyone a hard time. You can give me a hard time. I'm not. I'm not advocating death to Mexicans here. But you know, no. if you want to paint the picture that I'm like no. some kind of genocidal maniac, so be it. Anyways, Thunderball. We got some more books here. Casino Royale. Yeah. Three. Let's get to the fun stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Don't. You, I mean, no. I'm trying to say that subtly. Like, I read books. I'm not dumb. But no. then she just... It just yeah. in case someone She's was just to like, get in the point. Carpet. Carpet. All right? <laughs> Pull that carpet out from anything. All right? Anyways, so we have some uh, other, other, other... I'm going to get quick, and we're just going to get to the drawing okay. here. Okay? Because okay. nobody needs an hour-long contest of video, right? Of a drawing, right? So we have uh, Gran Torino. Mm, I love this movie. It's a good movie. It's a very good and movie. And I guess... He's racist towards Asians. So now you're painting the picture that I want to kill all the Mexicans and then I show an anti... Hey, a lot of people seem to think I'm Asian. Yeah, so Haitian? No, Asian. Okay. Yeah. And so I guess uh, I just hate people in general because here's ex machina, Mm. you know? So I just want to have sex... You hate people and a robot? No, no, I want to have sex with robots because I hate all people, apparently. No, 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 no. Uh, No, 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 no. I'm here. You... Uh, What is that? Casa de mi padre? Have you ever okay. seen this? I, never. It's a gem. It's it's yes. Yeah, but just looking at the cast right now. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. No, this is obviously a must watch. Yeah, we'll I watch that because okay. you know it's a definite must watch that everyone's. <laughs> Anyways, Nacho Libre <laughs> is the best. So uh, <laughs> so. Anyways, there's some movies in the vein of. Uh, let me just go and finish it off here. I'm showing a little movie. You see what I'm doing here? Because mm-hmm. I didn't make an entry to my own stuff. I just said, hey, free will, if you want to have a theme or roll with it, however you do, do you. Cool beans. See, I already put away my notebook. I'm crafty. I am not slick. So I was like, hey, if you want to do a theme, do you or whatever. So mine is going to be Cinco de Mayo. So we saw all sorts of stuff. We saw DVDs. Mm-hmm. We saw Blu-rays. We saw books. We saw records. Hey, comic books, there's Robin racially misappropriated in a poncho and he's just like throws his he throws his poncho back like he's gonna pull trigger he doesn't have a freaking gun 
But it was probably Cinco de Mayo, so... And you're going to throw some batarang at a dude, the Colt six-shooter? That's silly. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, there's a comic book for you. And hey, maybe you're listening to uh, a cassette, a little Cheech and Chong, you know? Cheech Marin, Mexican. You see that there? Yeah. I don't even know if he's really Mexican, but in America, he's Mexican. No, I'm pretty sure he is. You know what's messed up, though? You know, if you go to Miami, mm -hmm. you're Cuban. If you go to Mexico, oh, you're Puerto that? Rican. You know? If I go anywhere, I'm just fat, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I am the same weight everywhere I go. Wow. But, uh, yeah, here's some stuff from back in the day. Little VHSs. Little Cheech and Chong still smoking. I can't believe you have so many of this. Nice Dreams. With a, This is the one with a young Pee Wee Herman. It's super funny. So, like, he's, like, trying to talk to him. Cody's like, hamburger? <laughs> hamburger? Do yeah. you want some hamburger? And then they go underneath the table to find out in a restaurant and do cocaine like that's not obvious huh. yeah, in front of like the entire busy dining room but uh <laughs> Cheech and Chong's next movie all right uh Up in Smoke where they take the trip to Mexico and come back at the 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 big bus I made have, of weed I've seen this yeah yeah so that's the most Mexican of, of these all yeah. right and then the one that people forget there's the Corsican brothers all right the one that's like family oriented but the one <laughs> everyone forgets is get out of my bedroom with live performances. That's a rare one. Uh, that's that's weird. Why do I own that? All right. And then the last little funny thing. Um, a lot of people showed this. Quentin Tarantino uh, made great soundtracks. I have Snatch. Uh, I lost my Snatch. So I don't know. Where Why are you laughing? <laughs> no. <it's, laughs> I hope you find it. Thank you. But... Uh, <laughs> So I lost my snatch. And uh, Guy Ritchie, underappreciated. Nobody talked about Guy Ritchie, period. Everyone went to the default of Quentin Tarantino. Guy Ritchie made awesome soundtracks. But uh, this Death Proof and Jackie Brown are probably my two favorite soundtracks. It's not Pulp Fiction, although I really do enjoy Pulp Fiction. Mm -hmm. uh, but this, the star of the movie, besides Stuntman Mike, would be <laughs> the, uh, the Nova. And how would Nova pertain to Mexico? Uh... Yeah. They weren't popular in Mexico, and they tried to reintroduce them, but change the name because Nova means no go. Nova, I see. Yeah, so uh -huh. you don't want a muscle car that goes fast called no go. No, that's it's a no go to call your car <laughs> no go. Anyways, complete all right, fail. complete sure. fail, epic fail. All right, here we are. That's uh, twelve minutes of nonsense. Uh, let's get to the drawing. What's more fair than? drawn a name out of a pot all right so there's a pot and it's numbers we're gonna do this bingo style mm -hmm. so what i got here is myself a little cheat sheet with little notes of what i want to say with people's names but keeping track i'm gonna give you a number with your name and you're gonna get pulled just like bingo <laughs> where you want to be the last numbers called you want to be the last numbers there's three that's, look at that you see how i did that like that's like very that's very european of me you know, that's very, like, I feel worldly right now. We're talking about Mexico. You know, Americans are like, one, two, three, and then no. they thumbs last. Yeah. So I went, pow, or one of thems, you know? So I got one through 38 entries. That's cool beans, cool beans for a new guy. I like it. Ranging from a quick and to the point, three minutes and 43 seconds, to an epic two-parter totaling at 49 minutes and 31 <gasps> seconds. I watched every minute of every video. I appreciate I you guys. It. I like hanging out. I'm glad that you uh, come to my home. I view it as coming in your house. Sukasa or is sukasa. Me, me, huh? sukasa, sukasa. Sukasa is yeah, not sukasa. Sukasa is sukasa. Yeah, I know that Sorry. one. Yeah, they know that. I think they know that one. So, this is yeah, not my house. We, so. should, we should use... Um, yeah, uh, so, okay. I'm yeah. not inviting people to yeah. your house. I'm saying tu casa. Well, it depends who in the VC. There's people in the VC who are welcome to my house. There's some you're just like, you gotta get to know you, you know? <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to get to know all of you. Yeah, that's right, absolutely. So I really enjoyed this for the, for that sake. There's people that I had no idea who they were before they made an entry. Mm -hmm. There's people that I thought were going to make an entry and they didn't. No hard feelings. But uh, anyways, we'll get to it. I'll give you a number. I'll see. I'll, I'll pull them out randomly. Uh, and then so be it. And then so just keep track of your number. That's all it really is. So in no particular order, mm -hmm. I just wrote these down. And then bow. It is what it is. He checked uh, his notes yeah. twice. So, yeah, and I, I think I got everyone. If you didn't give me a heads up, I went through and I fucking swearing for no reason. J Dustin's even here. I'm so disappointed in myself. I don't even have him to blame right now. Yeah, no. God almighty. Can't blame him. So, ayos mio. Hi. It's me, Mallow. Ah. Yeah, but, uh, 
All right, number one. Keep track of your numbers. Have mm -hmm. fun. So when you're doing the drawing, it's live action. Number one. <clears throat> wow, that's allergies. Can't get through a video without like clearing, like my nose or doing something or yeah. Yeah. And just we making all just it. Cringe, making some. A I sound like a, like if a frog had sex with a bear, would that be like a, a frere or like a bog? A bog is a type of swamp, so you can't use bog. Maybe like a brog. <laughs> okay. A brog. Like I'm a but and that sounds it like sounds a, like bros. Yeah, and I'm a bro, bro. Oh, anyway, so we didn't even mention this for uh, Cinco de Mayo. I'm wearing a wrestling shirt, Santo. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. minus uh, uh, El Blue Demon, and she's wearing a yes. head show in Mexico traditional dress, handmade, and, handmade. and she's got her hair braided all snazzy. So, uh, yeah, uh, we're living La Vida Loca, muy loca. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to eat tacos that way as well, right? Well, actually, no, no, the, the technique uh, for the taco is with the finger on the back. End I can't, it. my hands are so big, I can't help but do it's like default. So when so I eat, when I when I eat tacos, people look at me like, oh, it's authentica, and I'm just um, like, no, it's no, it's just my it's, giant. It's, it's giganta, uh, manos. <laughs> Mis manos gigantes. Yeah, manos. Yeah, see, I know, I know some Spanish. I feel like if I move to a Spanish-speaking country in like six months, I can get around. In like two years, I just be like, yeah, 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 yeah. I'd be selling drugs in the alley and giving it to the locals. You know what I mean? No, I meant I meant romantic giving it to locals, not like giving it to the locals. Okay. You know what, I mean? what is it? Rubbing elbows. I rub elbows. Yeah. yeah. Brush shoulders, rub <laughs> elbows. It's like when you're when you're meeting people, you're socializing. You're in a party. You're rubbing elbows. You're getting to know each other. You're with the all walks of life. Anyways, like, all right. Probably think you're trying all right. To let's not let's not drift in. Oh. Let's not drift in. We're getting crazy here. Number one, Randall Weaver. Like, hey, there's themes to be done. If you wanted to be nonchalant and just show, show whatever you have, that's cool. Randall mm -hmm. appreciate did a '60s uh, movie theme. Randall's also a car guy. Uh, he races Fiats apparently. And uh, I need to, at some point, I just I shot that uh, video on a whim for my contest update, and the Marauder and the truck were out there, and so I need to show him the Mach 1. Mm -hmm. But so, hey, Randall, you be you. Uh, enjoy your videos. Uh, number two, H2 Vinyl. Awesome spectrum of stuff. Showed anime, video games, and more importantly, also I guess tying into uh, Cinco de Mayo unintentionally, my man was lucky enough... Because it wasn't, I wasn't buying records at the time. Mars Volta, my man bought Mars Volta before they stopped pressing it and just shot up in prices. Mm -hmm. It's hundreds of dollars now. The the less desirable Mars Volta is still like 120 to 150 bucks. Mm -hmm. So my man has Mars Volta on vinyl. <sighs> green, green mm -hmm. with envy. Yeah. Yeah. Green oh, S. I see it. Green S Rojo. <laughs> It's Verde. It's Verde, I know. Like Salsa Verde, if you didn't know. People are like, ooh, Salsa Verde, that sounds delicious. It just means green. Yeah. Like, they're like, mm, Verde it's sounds green. fancy. No, it but means Verde, green. They, Verde, mm. Verde, I just wonder to say it like that. Because we have the street called Verde. No, but I'm saying now I can say, I can say Verde. Yeah. And I just made it sound Yeah, so gr well, gringo it up. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're a gringo, lady. My accent is just disappearing. Yeah. Your accent? You've been here, <laughs> you've been here in South Carolina a while. So anyways, uh, number three, the old Gold's vlog. Uh, I'm not going to break up this video right now or pause or anything and carry it over. We're just going to try to get this done quick because this is definitely going to go long. I can't help it. If you see right here over my shoulder, there's a poster that I'll zoom in one day. My man, um, old goat here, is a mushroom forager. And that is a edible mushrooms of the, north, uh, the northeast. Or the uh, North America. Anyways, so it's all sorts of cool stuff labeled and has their uh, Latin names and their origins and uh, what to look for. And it gives you a warning if it has like a foe or a, po pos a poisonous cousin and everything like that. But uh, neat videos. Um, check him out. Uh, right after that, number four, Sack Blabbeth. I fucking love that name. Sack Blabbeth 65. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. It's just a, a play on Black Sabbath. Huh. But um, I love his name. It kind of flows. And this is silly. I'm not even going to talk about his video entry. For Record Store Day, he found the Yes album, which is one on my short list of stuff I wanted for Record Store Day and I did not find. And he was just so genuinely happy to uh, to find it. And my <laughs> sister and I watched this video together when she was in town for my birthday. And he's like, it's orange, orange. <laughs> and then he like, the, like, I love puns. He's like, yeah. yes, yes, because it's the name of the band. Oh. Anyways, it's just so genuine and fun. 
Sack Blabbeth is a good dude. I've been watching his videos now. One of these reasons why you have a contest, you yeah. meet new people. Just makes you happy. All right. uh, a guy I feel bad for, and one of the dudes I was most, when I went into this, like, he's going to make a video, mm -hmm. I look forward to it, right? Because, like, mm -hmm. half these people I might not have even known, right? Or didn't have a real relationship with. Mm -hmm. I've been commenting with Dots and Loops way before I ever made you my own video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, before I ever made my video. So, number five, <laughs> numero cinco, cinco is Sajo. Dots and Loops. He made a video off Jump Street. It got mm -hmm. taken down. It was censored by YouTube and taken down, uh. right? So I missed that. I was at work. I couldn't watch it because there's been multiple videos where I watch okay. it because you're one of the first ones to click. And mm -hmm. then if you were to leave it in the middle of the video or try to come back to it, it's already censored, but you can watch uh. it as long as you're watching it. Uh -huh. So towards the end, he made another video where he has like a silly sideways hat on <laughs> and he like looked like he put effort into it and he put a caption and everything. And so, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing for you here, Dots and Loops. <clears throat> Here's the uh, River Air, a little Ontario water boat hat action. You like that? This is my grandpa's hat circa early 80s. Woohoo! But um, anyways, it's the hottest hat in the world. So I'm going to put on ye old trusty White Sox hat. But so, and then I was at work and I was like, dude, is his video going to get taken down? Is all dots, dots going to get censored again? They don't want me to watch his video. And I'm looking at it, and I click on it after like like 20 minutes or whatever. It said it had like 137 views. I'm like, oh, huh. I'm great, dude. Terrible day at work. I get off work. I step outside where there's a nice bench and seating area and everything. All the people are gone. I kick off my work shoes. I sit down. I go look for dots and loops. He's gone. But uh, so two entries. Mm -hmm. He made two videos for me. I can't be mad at it. So dots and loops. Look for number five. That's you. Number five, your winner. New to me, Rock Chica, number six. Uh, I made this note here. She showed an array of things, but Urban Cowboy, uh, it's a guilty pleasure of mine. You've seen that John Travolta movie. He's a he's a cowboy in like the Gillies Day and the Honky Tonks, and he's uh, he has a big beard and he has to shave it off for a job. Makes me so sad. It makes me so sad. You know, you know how you tell the difference between a man and a woman? Beard. All right. Yes. <laughs> was it was it Barbo? Uh huh. Yeah, Barbo. Bar Bar no, not Barbo. That's a, I'm not a lady. No, you know, I have a barbo. Yeah, oh. anyway, yeah, yeah. Like, uh, like, uh, it, isn't like Portuguese? I got a friend out here who speaks Portuguese. What's Barbosa, the last name? Barbosa. Yeah, anyways, I got, I'll, get, I'll get to him in a little bit. But so, uh, Rock Chica, uh, that's what I was going to say, Urban Cowboy. I'm sidetracked. If you watch my videos, you know I do that. <laughs> um, Pam is better than Sissy. Sissy was a conniver. She was in abusive relationships for a reason. She was drunk. She was a do-nothing bitch. And then uh, Pam comes in there. Just wants to spoil him. She's cooking and cleaning. She wants to be equal partner. She's attractive. She looks like she might be quasi Latina. She's you know, I think the real actress is from New Mexico. She might have a little you know native or uh, Latin blood in her. Anyways, she was better looking and she was a better person. Uh, John, what were you doing? Are you glutton for punishment? <laughs> All right. So anyways, number seven, the uh, the creator of the epic two parter, uh, Cosmic <laughs> Vinyl. Um, Dude, he showed everything, all the works, two-parter. I watched every single second of it. I enjoyed it. And then when I was cleaning around the house, since you know, sometimes when you've already seen something, it won't focus your attention, mm -hmm. I watched the first one a second time. But, uh, <laughs> hey, bud, I wish I could have seen it with you. I hope you enjoyed Endgame. Here's a um, hologram that's not going to show up on camera. No, of, uh, but it's honestly the coolest. Yeah, you can barely see it. There's like an atom, like a smoke bomb, the, the gamma ray explosion mm -hmm. in the background. It's totally not going to show up, and I'm not going to take this whatever, but... Anyways, there's Hulk transferring. Um, that's kind of cool. But appreciate your videos. Two videos, one entry. That's fair. But number seven, that's you, uh, Cosmic Vinyl. Deadwax66. My man was live. Mm -hmm. And then they made this new policy where you had to have 100, uh, 1,000 subs to go live via your phone. Mm -hmm. And uh, he got cut off. And the whole vinyl community came together. Mm -hmm. And he's over 1,000. Uh, I watch him anytime I can. I'm usually at work. But uh, kudos to you, Randy. Uh, super awesome. You deserve it. And also, your number, that's number eight. Okay. Dead Wax 66. Pay attention. Number eight's mm -hmm. your number. Number nine, Vinyl Richie. Speaking of 1,000 subs, this dude's been well past 1,000 subs. This dude's super nice. He knows Dust and I were trying to do live. We had plans to right when they made the change. Mm -hmm. And so he, he just mentioned or trying to make the push for me to reach 1,000. If I get there, I get there. Okay. I'd like to hang out with my friends that go live occasionally. I think it'll be helpful. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then, I think it'll yeah. Happen. I like to do like random nonsensical like hour and a half, two hour long videos and then, you know, weekly post like an actual like five this or have a plan and then do like fun mm -hmm. 15, 20 minute videos. If you want to hang out, 
hang out, and if you just want to watch, like, these are my jazz finds, these are my metal finds, then cool. All right. Uh, soundtrack Queen, number 10. Numero... Yes. This. I was like, because there's always a little yeah. emphasis, a little emphasis you on it. You always sound like a favorite yes. yeah. when you say anything in Spanish. You have to. But uh, number 10, Beth at B-Side Records. Awesome video. And pe some people chose to do a theme out here. If you didn't know mm -hmm. hard feelings, just make videos, have fun, socialize, get to know each other, shake hands. All right. But so... Uh, yeah. yeah. I'm not a meathead. But so... Uh, I'm a meathead. But so uh, she did John Hughes themes. Mm -hmm. And I love John Candy at Pretty in Pink, and uh, uh, I grew up with all those movies, The Breakfast Club, etc. So it's cool that she chose theme. And then unlike me, that just is an idiot at point and shoot and does does what I do. Um, she whatever. So oh my god, I'm at 25 minutes. This is a video drawn video. Okay, let me be quick here. Uh, 11 Gary's Vinyl Dungeon. This dude does not like soundtracks. It's clear. And that makes it all the more special that he filmed a video. And that's super nice. So number 11 is Gary. Number 12, DJ High Noon. Um, Star Wars? A lot of people started, showed Star Wars. Really cool. Um, does anyone... Anyone Star Trek? <laughs> Am I just a guy who likes anything in outer space? You were thinking uh, yeah. May the 4th. So, Star Trek. Uh, DJ High Noon, you're number 12. Value Vinyl did a thing on Big, uh, Big Man Japan, which was hilarious. Uh, mm -hmm. And then he, I saw in a video that he's jealous that he doesn't have... He goes Star Wars. Yeah. Hey, bud. Uh, I do. <laughs> I do. Like, yeah. uh, I'm that nerd. I found I found yeah. it first. It was like it was three bucks. You'll find it one of these days. Yeah, it's no whatever. big deal. Three bucks. Yeah. But uh, so that's uh, twelve. DJ High Noon. Thirteen. Value Vinyl. Fourteen. Black Beans and Rice. My man jumped off with American Graffiti. I'm a car guy. Bob <laughs> Bob Falfa was super cool and John Milner. They were rivals, but I loved them both. Mm -hmm. And American Graffiti is something I grew up with. So obviously, I needed to own it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the Little Deuce Coupe and the 55. I want to say it's 55, not a 56. Uh, I mean, it's annoying me that I'm not thinking about it right now. But just the, a, 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 the Nightmare Tri-5 Chevy was just looking gnarly as hell. So uh, Black Beans and Rice, number 14. Number 15, Tone Arm, Tone Arm Tango. New guy to the VC. Check him out. He's low subs. He's a good dude. He's getting more comfortable on the camera all the time. And he just posted a really cool video where he's discovering vanilla fudge. And that's so cool. His genuine reaction, just him be like being taken back by the... I'm sorry, I'm not trying to block you. <laughs> but he, him being taken back by the music is pretty freaking cool. Anyways, uh, Tone Arm Tango, you're 15. Bad English Rex, uh, number 16. Bad English Rex, show the hurricane. You know I'm about some fisticuffs. And so <laughs> anything boxing-oriented, Denzel Washington's a good actor. That was super cool. Uh, talking quick now. You guys can keep up with your numbers. I apologize. I see how long this is going. We're just hanging Write them out. Down. Just make We're just hanging out. out. We're having a good time at Cinco de Mayo. This is supposed to be a party. <laughs> so pause the video and drink a beer if you haven't. All right. So Bad English Rex is number 16. Number 17, I was unfamiliar with before this, David Newton. David Newton and he did a proper top 10 songs. And then he did um, Needle Drops. That's super cool. <laughs> um, I don't edit and do all that stuff. And he, he luckily chose the right songs not to get popped by the YouTube police. <laughs> so anyways, um, David Newton, number 17. Mm -hmm. Number 18, a man from the islands from Trinidad, Trini Ooh. Grooves, uh, Blade Runner. If you're a Blade Runner fan, check out his video. Super cool dude. He's one of those uh, English Rex, uh, Beth at B-Sides people that's hands. And so you're kind of watching him first person like a video game. <laughs> so anyways, good dude. Trini Gro Grooves, you're number 18. Number 19. <clears throat> Happy Hippie the Vinyl Guy. I pulled this out to represent you. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, if you... Okay. Can you do that bounce snack for one second? Yes, and I'll put this back in it. So I got this wine box. This used to be our cooking wine at work. Honestly, but the coolest. I just thought it was cool, and I just saved it from work, and it made me think of you. And so, hey, man, if I win one of those silly, stupid, crazy mega, mm -hmm. mega million lottery, uh, I'll buy you a sweet, old-school Volkswagen bus, but uh, gussy it up with new brakes and engines mm -hmm. so you could drive Black all around color. the country. Yeah, that like, kind of avocado '60s mm -hmm. color, or like, or like a a burnt yes. sunset orange, or like a like a, a <laughs> sunflower yellow, like a very cliche. It has to be something bright. Yeah, yeah, that'd be super cool. But uh, happy hippie, you are number nineteen. And by the way, thank you, man. I've talked about this and preached in the past about people that are in their pockets, and they um, they're jazz people, or they're jam band people, or they're metal people, and they don't socialize and they don't go outside their comfort comfort zone. 
and happy hippie the vinyl guy you can definitely tell what he's oriented to mm -hmm. and he's spending time with me like i'm spending time with him thank <laughs> you for being open-minded i enjoy your videos i enjoy your friendship like everyone else here um mark g with a c number 20 number 21 brendan van d and 22 gustavo scafaro is the portuguese guy that's the guy gustavo? i need to, yeah yeah but that's the guy i need the translation for uh on uh, Barbosa, Edson Barbosa as an MMA fighter is really talented. Oh, okay. But anyways, I lumped them together because when I was thinking, when I was writing down numbers and just going through this list, mm -hmm. I thought about how Happy Hippie number nineteen mm -hmm. is uh, you know coming to my side, and hanging out in the same way. There's a lot of metal people that only do their metal thing, and Mark G with a C number twenty, mm -hmm. number twenty one Brennan Van D, number twenty two Gustavo Scafaro. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Are metal guys that are hanging out. With me, like I'm hanging out with them. Uh -huh. If it was high school and they're not about some dumb shit, they're going to my party, I'm going with their party. Exactly. We're having a good time. We can all be friends. Yeah, so that's super cool. Number 23, Rob Walker, uh, a brick from over the pond. But so he's on the other side of the sea, he's hanging out, he's a good dude. Um, and what I like is that um, he returned the favor. There's been times where I've done a thread in the past and I've done a thread for someone, mm -hmm. and the person who's their thread doesn't even comment on my video. Wow. And so the fact that uh, he not only, you know, comments and goes back and forth and watches my videos, but I did a video for him and he did a video for me. It's just nice. Return the favor. favor. It's a cool thing, right? It's number 23, Rob Walker. Number 24, 94, 96, Tull. That sounds like a football. 24, <laughs> 94, 96, Tull. But anyways, uh, he had the to the point, three minute and 43 second video. Wow. He got some stuff in there, but what I like... You, you already know, man. I get, I get about two, three more beers in me, man. I kind of sound like I live in South Carolina. And I like that my man Tull has a southern voice. And he sounds like he's around from the way I'm around from. And he might be in my neck of the woods. <laughs> but he showed something I have. And that's Black Hole. Hmm. And I don't have time to do all the bells and whistles. But I still have the original 12-page book. It's in near mint. Awesome, awesome nerd cover. You've seen my living room before. It matches it was framed on the wall before I got that uh, Stanley Kubrick. But uh, that's super cool. It has Robert Forrester, which everyone knows because he's uh, the love interest or the male-female counterpart to uh, Jackie Brown. Hmm. So, anyways, uh, Tull, your number 24. Irvin Park Vinyl Review, number 25. Number 26 is Jeff Kempen. Uh, of course, I'm stacking on top of, top of stuff oh, I actually need. Because yeah, I don't, I, I have no plans. I just shoot these things. Yeah. So when I was flipping through that James Bond book, which is dead on the bottom, it's of the course, the of very course. bottom of the pile of everything here. Oh, yeah. So don't don't lose the camera there. Oh, by the way, this is totally not going to be Cinco de Mayo for everyone on the East Coast. No, but yeah. hey, if this uploads and it's still whatever 10 p.m. in California or wherever, hey, we kudos tried. to you. But so at the start of this Goldfinger book, uh. Irvin Park, 25, Jeff Kempen, 26, uh, are, they're from Chicago region, all mm -hmm. right? And so this was priceless before the, the preface, before this is, uh, mm -hmm. the very start of the book. Goldfinger said, <clears throat> Goldfinger said, Mr. Bond, they have a saying in Chicago, once is happenstance, twice is coincidence, the third time is enemy's action. I've what? never heard that in my life in Chicago. Anyways, <laughs> go south side, you know? Um, you don't like um, greasy spoons, dirty streets, heroin junkies, and fist fights? Who doesn't like getting shot, you know? Anyways, but uh, get toughen up. South side of Chicago is where it's at. But go Sox, uh, Cubs, best to you-ish. But um, anyways, oh, what are your teams? If you guys watch sports, leave a comment. All right. You uh, want to know. Number 27, the vinyl rundown. This dude has a super pleasant voice. I'm writing all these random stuff, and the first thing I think to say is oh, that his voice. he has a very... I didn't say it like that. Uh, I didn't end up like, oh, this, I, seriously, this I, guy is decadent. And if he is, if I was, and he... What that... It's so okay. Be it. I, there's no judgment. There's just no I'm gonna judgment. Mush you in the but face. I witnessed it. I'm going to... As he wrote his voice. Just, yeah. Just. Anyways, he's got a pleasant voice. And he's one of the guys that I'm trying to shut down my brain. There's some people who are like live action and high energy. No. And you're going to start your day watching their video, you know, mm -hmm. while you're like brushing your teeth and everything in their background. Uh, Vinyl Rundown's one of those dudes when I'm getting like low key and chill, kind of like black beans mm -hmm. and rice. They're very even and, and, and mm -hmm. zen. So I like to watch number 27, Vinyl Rundown, when I'm chill at night. 
Number 28, Grandma's Handbag. Did a Wes Anderson theme. Love Wes Anderson. He's the only guy on planet Earth I talked to about Aussie rules football. Um, ESPN2 back in the day used to play it, and now Fox Sports in the middle of the night on Sundays. Right now I'd be watching Aussie rules football, but I'm hanging out. Anyways, I'm sorry. There's probably, you know what, my arm's up, and there's probably people going to be really jealous you that I'm, uh, you sense I'm blocking your pechugas. He, he, <laughs> pechugas. Yeah, is that not it? Yeah, <laughs> si, si, si. yeah. yeah like pechuga but, de pollo. I'm a chef. That's why I know. That's why I know okay. breasts is because I'm a chef. That's good. Yeah, um, but it, it means. I'm laughing because everybody knows chichis. It's that that's Mexican food, like a chain restaurant that went away when you were still young. Yeah, but everybody knows chichis. I don't think everybody's referred to them as pechugas. Yeah, that's yeah. that. It's like because a pechuga a, a pinocha is fantastica. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's, you, yeah. he knows he knows two crazy ones. Yeah. So number twenty eight, Grandma's handbag, Aussie rules football is a uh, you know go cats. All right. Go Cats. That's all. I don't have time to crap on all the uh, Aussie Rules teams I want to crap on, but we're on the top of the ladder right now. So we're. it's been a while since we had a championship. We got back form. We lost a bunch in the 90s. I actually oh. became a fan while we were losing championships, and we didn't have a big championship history before that. So Are we're you not... trying to say that's how you're a true fan? Yeah, because I'm there whether we win or lose. Yeah, yeah. That's it. So I'm, of yeah, course, yeah. Of course. Anyways, number 29, El Caxi, number 1971. Uh, he said, I was wearing a Thing shirt, the Thing. So, uh, he, they say, he said, hey, I like that. I'm subbing you just for that. We're friends. You're good people. Anyways, so the remake, which I apologize once again. Um, a lot of people don't speak on it. Um, if I'm spoiler alerting, um, this movie's from, uh, too dark on this side. All the light sources all over there. So it doesn't even matter. I don't even want to find, it doesn't, Very, even, a long time yeah, ago. it doesn't matter what, it doesn't matter what the years are. Um, this is a not sequel remake. It is actually a prequel. And it homages and ties into the other movie, and it was really well done. And so everyone, I haven't watched any of them. So, so yeah, it honors the old movie while still being new, and it, it still relied somewhat on practical effects, and it didn't go straight CGI. Okay. So the Thing remake, sequel, prequel, homage movie, I thought was pretty dope and pretty well done. So anyways, number 21, I'm sorry, number 29, I apologize, is El Caxi. As to avoid confusion, number 21 is Brennan Van D. <laughs> These people are gonna need a pen and paper the way I'm doing this. No, I'm so yes. weird. Steve Carlson, Twin Peaks. Uh, mm -hmm. He talked about Bob, number thirty. Steve Carlson, number thirty. Steve Carlson. He did a Twin Peaks thing, and then what I really liked about it, he acted like I said that there's no rhyme or reason to this. You could do whatever you want. You could choose a theme. <laughs> I just gave you movies and music. Pretty easy. easy. So he went off on a tangent about, oh, I can do whatever I want. Twin Peaks. And he said, then he shows a little Loretta Lynn record, and he's like, what does that have to do with anything? Absolutely nothing. That made me laugh out loud. Uh, number 31, speaking out, out loud, this has nothing to do with this contest. Number 31, Norman Maslow, Mazzy, said mm -hmm. he wants to punch Billy Joel in the face. Thank you, sir. I, <laughs> I get, people look at me because, like, you know, I'm the size of a refrigerator, that I'm a, some meathead barbarian if I want to punch someone. Just, and I'm not saying, I, I'm not saying I need to be the guy, like, murdering, like, Billy Joel with a single punch. But if someone his equal size, age, and weight, strength, all that, were to just one time punch Billy Joel in the face, wouldn't be mad at it. So, hey, so Mazzy, uh, I'm sub to you. I enjoy your channel. <laughs> uh, number 31, Normie Ma uh, Norman Masloff. Number 32, also from the Carolinas, Digital Gramophone. Did a hilarious thing. Uh, Ghostbusters 2 <laughs> went off on a tangent, did a toaster and slime thing. You just have to watch it if you didn't grow up yeah. like a nerd and watch Ghostbusters, the cartoon, and drank high C ecto cooler blast or whatever it was, and wasn't the perfect age. It might go over your head, but anyways, he had slime and a toaster and did a uh, video editing with Ghostbusters 2 as priceless. Number 32, digital gramophone. Number 33, Bill the Vinyl Verse. One of my very first videos was a conscious entry to him. And if you want to watch one of my videos, it's only like 30 minutes and not crazy. Uh, I'm I, I'm sorry, not 30 minutes. It's not 30 minutes. It's like nine <laughs> minutes. And you want to get to know me? Go back and watch that old uh, "Don't Mess with Bill" video. Number 34, reverse polarity of the neutron flow. Ooh. He did a two-parter. He showed the most volume, in the time he had yeah. was really impressive. He hasn't made a video mm -hmm. since Andrew at Tales of the Crate did a uh, contest since before I was in the VC. But anyways, he's super high energy. Uh, he sings in this video, Thank crazy sense video. of humor. Yeah, make, keep on making videos, yeah. and he's random. And if you like me, I'm random. You might enjoy him. Number thirty-four, reverse the pl polarity. Number thirty-five, Mama Bear vinyl. I just want to say thanks to the ladies in the VC. 
Uh, you can't all just be fat, hairy bros that like music. So thank you to any ladies that pretty, partake. Pretty people taking yeah, part. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, appreciate it. Uh, number 36, Brian's Vinyl Records. Brand new guy to the channel. He has like next to no subs. He's a new dude. Mm -hmm. So check out um, Brian's Vinyl Records. Uh, mm -hmm. Number 36. Number 37, Horror Biz. I'm going to be straight up honest. Uh, this dude was my favorite collection. It wasn't the biggest one, but it was all killer, no filler. He stole records out of my brain and flipped them around. And it was just like, this is shit you're envious of. And and I, he, that's not the way he's portraying himself, but that's no. the way it came off every time. I was like, and that? And that? Need like, it? How need are you it? Doing yeah. that? It's all stuff I buy frames for and put on my wall because I'm a dork. <laughs> and th that's 37, Horror Biz. All right, number 38. Uh, spelled all caps J O A M O N Naman, uh, and the reason I put him last is because he's got um, besides having a great opening to his video where he's grabbing stuff off the wall and then he plays himself and it's funny. Uh, Very funny. Watch he's, it. Yeah, he's got um, he's got a contest going himself. So if you support VCers and you support contests, then um, hey, check him out. And then he's number thirty-eight. So, anyways, and he also made a comment in the thread that uh, I give too much love to Marvel and I crap on DC. So, hey, there you go, bud. That's Aquaman number one for you, bud. Yeah. Anyways, so there's some DC love, and I need the... I thought I had a pen. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, do, do, do. Here's a pen. Here's a pen. Okay. Uh, so this is what we're going to do. Okay. It's a bowl. It's fair. We're going to be super quick. I'm going to cross off names while we're doing it. And then, um, well, it doesn't even matter if you didn't keep up with your numbers, because I'll just let you know what it is. And if just, you don't believe me, you can, go, you can go back in the video. Rewind. Anyways, the first one is number 36. Oh, ding, ding, ding. You, oh you're supposed yeah. to be the game show hostess. Yes. I failed. She's supposed to be the, yeah, this is her job. Number 36. Hey, Brian, the good part is people tune out after their number's been called and they don't win. So at least being called first gives you an opportunity for more people to see you. Brian's Vinyl Records. All right, you just blast blast through these. The I yeah. The I, only time being number one hold is that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's only time. I've actually done that. I've been the first called in, uh -huh. a, in a contest. I've totally been the first called. All right, so you just blast through these. Okay. All yeah. Right. Just just go through it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Number eighteen yes, is. Yocho. Oh, Trini Grooves, man. Oh. Hey, that you know what? That kind of works in the same vein. He's not got that many subscribers. He's a good dude. Mm -hmm. Island slang is awesome. We bantered in uh, his videos. Uh, recently, and you could uh, partake in some of that island slang is hilarious. Uh, but don't let me like you don't yet just reprimand me. If oh, oh, oh okay. sorry, just keep just keep yeah. them going. Yeah, 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 I never know when to stop you. I don't, six, number six. I've made a score on it so I don't screw up and I have hope, some. I hope you guys I, kept up. I don't want to have a I don't want to have a blurb. <laughs> so, number six, I'm sorry, Rock Chica. Uh, and Pam is still better than Sissy, but Rock Chica, you're eliminated. I apologize. What's next? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not doing my job yeah. correctly. Number 28, Grandma's Handbag. Still go cats. Fuck Hawthorne. Oh. But uh, that's, I don't know, I don't know who his team is. Let me know who your team is. Oh, 30. 30. 30. Oh, yeah, you can do the Spanish 30. if you want. 30 is Steve Carlson. I'm sorry. Well, Steve's got the, one of the most impressive mm -hmm. record collections in the VC, so if he doesn't win, it's all right. 38. Oh, see, 38. Oh. 38 is, okay, I'm a man with a contest. Hopefully you guys are paying attention. I'm going to interrupt you for one second, just so you know. Capital J-O-A-M-O-N. Leave a comment in my uh, video so that people see you, and then um, they could partake in your contest. 38, yes. I'm sorry, you're eliminated. Wah, wah, wah. My favorite number. 22? Yes, 22. Uh, Gustavo, a little overseas action, man. Uh, sorry, bud. Yeah, 29. 29. I say him in English for you, don't Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I'm sorry. Because I already talked for 40 minutes. People don't oh, know this course, from me. Of course, of course, yeah. Uh, 25. 25. Ooh, you're just going back Yeah, yeah, yeah but I just need to do, do it quick enough to I tell people who's going to late. So El Caxi just got eliminated. 25 uh, is Urban Park, Chicago homeboy. 11. 11. 11. Gary's Vinyl Dungeon. Sorry, bud. They're keeping up with it. Yeah. 8. 8. Hey, dead wax, bud. Once again, man, yeah. enjoy hanging out with you live, bud. Yes, the 10. 10 mm -hmm. is Beth at B-Size Records, man. It would have been appropriate uh, if you won. She's mm -hmm. the soundtrack queen. 19. 19. 
The hey, happy hippie. Sorry, bud. Uh, uh 31. 31 is back. Mazzy, bud. Sorry. 20. 20. 20. Mark G with a C, bud. Oh. By the way, I got metal videos coming out, man. So uh, check it out, man. They're coming soon. Numero uno. Numero one. uno. Randall Weaver, bud. I promise mm -hmm. it. I'll sneak in a reason to put the Mach 1 in the video. Cinco. Cinco de mayo. Dots and loops, man. Two, two tries. It didn't work out for you, man. I wanted to see those videos, man. That sucks, dude. Mm -hmm. But, uh, Tres. Trace, old goat, man. Uh, and like say, just three. remind me in one of your videos when I comment if I'm an idiot and I forget to uh, show the mushrooms. Seven. Seven. Siete. Cosmic Vinyl, bro. Hey, uh, Avengers is absolutely killer, man. I thought about mm -hmm. you when the movie was over. Thirty-three. Thirty-three is Bill the Vinyl Verse, man. Best oh, yeah. dude. Planet of the Apes was awesome. This dude had an awesome freaking record, man. 33 was Bill the Vinyl Verse. Nine. Nine. Vinyl Richie, man. Hey, thanks, dude, for even putting my name out there to think I'm worthy of the th a thousand subscribers. Aww. That's really nice of you, man. He can do it. He can do it. Yeah. Cuatro. Oh, wow. Wow. Sack Blabbeth, man. Sorry, Four. bud. Thanks for making a video. Four. Another low subscriber uh, guy. I don't know how long he's been in the VC, so if you guys want to check him out, feel free. 26. 26. Jeff Kempen, man. Uh, apparently, I've not been around, but I think Jeff's the one before, so there's probably people like, at least it's not Jeff. So. <laughs> 13. 13, a uh, lucky number, man. That's a Mexican mm -hmm. gang cartel right there. Uh, value Vinyl. <laughs> uh, hey, dude. Thanks for being a, a dorky nerd that likes dorky nerd stuff, man. We get along on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, you say. 16. Sweet 16. 16. Bad English Rex, man. The Hurricane, dude. I'm going to have to watch that movie because you reminded me. 37, 37. 37 is Horbis, dude. Ooh. I don't, I couldn't have bought him soundtrack because he's got the best ones already. Wow. And then we have 14, 14. 14, black beans and rice, man. Enjoy mm -hmm. your videos, dude. Enjoy your demeanor, man. You seem like a really good dude. This was not in order. 15. 15. 15, tone like arm tango, yeah. man. Uh, dude, that vanilla fudge I showed with the uh, blue and red and yellow. You find it in dollar bins, it's beat up, and yeah. you find good copies, sub $10. You, you need that record in your life. Numero dos. Dos, H2 vinyl, man. Sorry, bud. Uh, beat em ups, 80s beat em ups, and a lot of the video games we had in common. We relate on a lot of stuff. If you were around my way, we get along. 32. 32. 32, man. We're getting, hey, man, there's some people uh, right now seven, crossing yeah. their fingers, too. How many do we have left in there? Oh, uh, it looks like seven. Seven, okay. So, so digital seven. gramophone, man. Sorry. You're really close. I know you got babies, and life gets in the way, and I got chef hours. But one of these days, whether I go up to Lunchbox or you make it down to Greenville, you and I are going to see each other in real uh, life and hang out. All right. Uh, 27. 27. Vinyl rundown. I'm sorry, bud. And, uh, wait, what's... <clears throat> One second. <clears throat> Low liquid courage. No. Vi vinyl Rundown. I appreciate you. I enjoy your videos. You have a beautiful night. Is that a pleasant voice? Uh, or is it it's kind of creepy, rapey. I'm it's sorry. I'm not trying to rape you, but I apologize. Uh, next. Don't say. Oh, 12. 12. Yeah. DJ High Noon, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, like I say, I haven't been in the VC that long. I think he's a guy who's won a couple times too. Uh, so I'm pretty sure the people getting towards the end are like, he's not, is yeah. he going to win again? Yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah. Yes, he's yet there. 17. 17. David Newton. Ooh. Sorry, bud. Well, almost. 35. 35 is Mama Bear Vinyl. Sorry. Ooh. 23. 23. Ooh, wow. That's, we're down to the last three. So, okay. So uh. you know who the winners are. So I'm going to give you a heads up right now. <clears throat> Brendan Van D, you're number 21. I don't know how Tw 24 that. is uh, 94, 96 tall. Mm -hmm. And brrr, you roll oh, your arse. Yeah. You okay. roll your arse. You're Latina. Uh, oh, you <gasps> yeah. mean I can do it? Yeah, you can, the whole time. I didn't know that. And then number 34, um, you're already a winner. So uh, reverse, <laughs> the, uh, reverse the polarity of the neutron flow. Dude, you're a winner. This should encourage you to make more videos. But anyways... Third place, the next drawing, 11, uh, 11 bucks. 34. So, hey, okay, speaking of which, what? you are the winner of $11 cash. So, uh, do with it as you please, man. Wow. Make a video of what you got and any other Save finds, it. Put man. It in your yeah, get in the mix. Don't Thank put it in your. You know. Buy a record, spend it aimlessly. No. All right. No.
Frugal, frugal. I have 21. 21. Brendan Van D, man. I'm Ooh. shipping international. Wow. Okay. Yeah. 24. And 24, the winner is... Uh, Southern, the grand prize. Southern gentleman, man. $33. Uh, oh. 94 96 toll, man. So, uh... Yeah. Do me a favor for anyone that made it 50 minutes. I'm sorry, this is so ridiculous. I hope this doesn't cut in half. Uh, go to one of my old videos where it's not out in public forum and just text me your email in the comment stream and I'll get back to you. Everyone who participated, I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.